everyone. Today I'm going to make jalapeno cheese bread, which is probably backwards on there, but I will take a picture and post it, a link in my description below. And I am using jalapenos from my own garden, which is really exciting. jalapenos I'm going to use that I picked from my garden to put in the bread. Yay! So excited about that. So I'm just getting everything ready now. I need sour cream. Got that. An egg. Got that. It says one eighth cup um, one eighth cup water. I don't know what one eighth cup is. I'm going to wing it. It'll be half of one quarter. So, here, I'll just do this. Okay. There we go. That's one. Oh. Let's try not to have a black dot in it. Here we go. We'll just wing it. One eighth cup. No, oh, that's almost a quarter. Such precise measuring. Okay, one eighth cup. Let me dip them in. We'll go with that. Okay, first of all, I'm going to get this ready by placing it in here. Popping it in there. I also would like to put on my apron that my mother made me. So I don't get stuff all over me. Okay, and then I need two, it says two cups all purpose flour, which is really odd because I always use bread flour with bread, but I'll do what it says. Do I have, oh, I do have all-purpose flour. I do, I do. I have to get it out here. Two cups of all-purpose flour. I need a teaspoon of salt. Um, tablespoons of sugar, I have sugar in here. Sugar in there. Baking soda. Um, I do have baking soda. I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> That's all right. Baking soda. Grated sharp cheddar cheese. I bought some yesterday. And I went ahead and bought, bought it already grated at Aldi's just because I did. I prefer to grate it myself, but I didn't. Um, one and a half teaspoons of yeast. So I have, I have that in here. So that'll be good. Okay. Now I need to, before I get too far ahead, I need to chop up, um, the jalapenos. It says to seed, seed, two tablespoons seeded and chopped fresh jalapenos. Let me put on my gloves. I am a big chicken when it comes to chopping up jalapenos. I don't do well with them. So I'm going to be safe and put on these gloves. I just prefer to wear the gloves. I just think it's smarter so you don't, because I always touch my face when I'm doing this and that's just causes a lot of pain down the road. But we don't want that. So let me get my cutting board and a knife. Right here. Oh, I washed it. That's right. Right here. There he is. And it says to see them. I love the 
this Pampered Chef paring knife I got years ago. Okay, let me wash them real quick. Give them a good wash. I know, I say it with an R. Believe me, my kids have harassed me incessantly about it. It says, place all ingredients in bread pan, select light crust setting, and press start. So that's all I have to do. So it's really, I love bread machines. I don't care who you are. Whoever invented them, they were smart because I love to cook with them now. I'm going to move my garbage can over here so I can just drop these in there. So I'm just going to, I think, um, I think I'll just take the seeds out of the center so they look like if I can do it this way. No, I can't. It says chopped anyway. I'm making it harder that for myself than I need to. Let's just do it this way. But it'll be fun to try this because I've, I've never made this kind of bread before. So I think it'll be really delicious. I think it will. I'm excited. I'm excited to have jalapenos from my garden in it. And the eggs I'm using are fresh grown that my cousin had given me. Fresh grown. They are farm fresh eggs from her, her chickens. So that's always awesome. I like to use farm to table anything I can. I mean, of course, we can't use everything, but I'd like to try. So basically, I'm just cutting. I don't know if you can see it. I'm cutting the end off, and then I'm having it, and then I'm just scraping out the inside with my thumb. That's all I'm doing. This is how I make jalapeno poppers, too. Very easy. That's a big thing in my family is the jalapeno poppers with the um, cream cheese filling and bacon on top and then you grill them. That's part of the reason why I have so many jalapeno plants out in my garden. That and the cowboy candy and salsa of course. So super excited to try all those things. So we're going to get all this in here. Okay, all the seeds are gone. And I, I take a little bit of that membrane out of it too, that so it's not all in there. I like just the outside part. So because we're taking out the seeds, it's not going to be super spicy, which I'm okay with that because, see, there's no seeds in those. Um, we don't need all that spice in bread anyway, I don't think. And it says on here, listen to this. Um, wow, hot stuff. Serve this coarsely textured, very spicy bread. It says very spicy. At your next cocktail party and watch it disappear. It's great with a glass of wine or a cold beer, but its perfect partner is a frosty margarita. Really? <laughs> I think anything goes good with wine, personally, but, you know, that's funny. I love how they describe it. So while I have my gloves on, I'm just going to go ahead and chop this up real quick and put it in the bread machine. And, you know, if a few seeds go in there, I'm, I'm not going to cry about it. It'll be all right. It doesn't say how little they should be chopped up. So I don't want them super tiny because I want to be able to taste them. So I'm just going to slice the halves, I think, and then put them in like that. I love jalapenos. I don't know. I love dishes with jalapenos. I love chicken. There's this one chicken and cream sauce jalapeno dish that I absolutely love. Um, this is why I'm a big lady. I like jalapenos. Jalapenos. I like food. So, um, yeah. This is um, my struggle. My daily struggle. That's why I try to walk every day. I didn't get to walk today because it rained. Okay, there we go. That is in there. And I am going to take off my gloves now and throw those away because I'm done with the jalapenos. Yay. Okay, I need a half a cup sour cream. Why 
do I always find the weirdest measuring cups? Oh, look, a half a cup. That's all right. to try this. I think this will be delicious. So we'll put that in. Half a cup sour cream. I already put the jalapenos in it. Now I'm just going down the recipe to put everything in it I'm supposed to. Okay, and then it says um, one I'm gonna go ahead and pour that water in that I measured out earlier, just so it's in there so I don't forget. Okay. Then I need one egg. Actually, let me let me do this real quick. I'm gonna... Farm eggs I always like to drop into a bowl before I drop it in, just to be safe. One egg, two cups all-purpose flour. I have a feeling this is gonna be a dense bread. That's okay, I think that'll be good. Two cups, that's a little more. I spilled it all over. Such a klutz. There we go. Two cups of flour. One teaspoon salt. This is a salt I bought at the um, Mennonite store, sea salt, food grade, I like this. I need to get a container for it. I just use it out of the bag. So it says one, one teaspoon salt. One teaspoon salt. When you're baking, it's always important to put the salt in. Um, a quarter teaspoon baking soda. Oh wait, I skipped the sugar. One and a half tablespoon sugar. Let me find a tablespoon measure. One and a half tablespoon sugar. There's one. A half. Okay. Like that one. And then I need a quarter teaspoon baking soda. Gonna wing that one. That one. Three fourths cup cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna eyeball that one. Oh wait, I do have a cup measure. I guess I can do that. Oh, no, I don't. I didn't wash it. So let's just eyeball that one. Because if there's too much cheese, I'm not going to cry about too much cheese. So, three-fourths cup. That's about right. That'll work. Two tablespoons. Okay, that's the jalapeno I put in. And then one and a half teaspoons of the yeast. One and a half teaspoons of yeast. One and a half. Okay. Now, I just start it. On light, it says. Select the light crust. There, I have light. I have it on basic, so we'll just leave it on basic and then we'll hit start. This takes three hours because it's gonna cook it. So I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Please hit subscribe. Thank you for joining me. This is really fun to try this new recipe. I'll be back. Bye. 
Okay, it's done now. Let's see how the jalapeno cheddar um, bread turned out. This is hot, so I'll use this. It looks good. See, this is what it looks like. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> I burnt myself. Right after I say this is hot, I burned myself on it. Set that off. Okay, let's see. Let me grab another hot pad holder because apparently I'm being klutzy. So let's take it out of here so I can shoot. Oh, it came right out. It even left a little flipper in there. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells. If you could smell it. I'm going to slice it with my serrated knife. I love these knives for slicing bread. Let me show you. See if I can turn this more. Whoops, <laughs> it's going well. There we go. That's what I meant to do. There we go. Now. There. I wanted you to see it, and now I shouldn't slice it yet, but I want you to see what it looks like. This is it. Oh my gosh, look. Jalapeno cheddar bread. Amazing. You guys should make this sometime. Very good. I'm super excited to try it. I'm going to take a little piece off. Mmm. That's good. Super good. Definitely a keeper. Thank you for watching, you guys. I appreciate it.